Hello, my friend, how are you? I uh, just want to show really quickly how you can run a Chrome Alpha in SPSS. Uh, just reminding quickly, Chrome Alpha is a, is a test of reliability of a scale. So when you have multiple items that together they're measuring a construct. And construct are things like quality, satisfaction, purchasing tension, and so on. Okay? So a Chrome Alpha will measure the internal consistency of that scale. And to show you how you can do it, um, I have here an example with four items that together they measure attitude towards a particular brand. And I'm going to check if this scale is reliable or not. So I'm going to click here on top on Analyze. I'm going to scroll down to Scale. And the first option, which is Reliability Analysis. I'm going to click here. This window pops up. And the first thing that I have to do is drag to this box here of items all of the individual items of the scale that I'm testing, okay? So I'm going to drag here item 1, drag here item 2, drag here item 3, drag here item 4. Now we're going to click here on statistics and there's something here which is important to do which is click on this first box, on, sorry, on this uh, box here of scale if item deleted scale of item deleted and that's important and I'm going to explain in a minute why that's important. Click on continue, the model is alpha, that's the default, we're going to leave it as it is. Click on OK. First thing to check here that I want to draw your attention to is this second table here of reliability uh, statistics. Now the chroma alpha, which is this value here, is always ranging from 0 to 1 and more or less the benchmark is if you have a value which is under 0.6, it's considered unreliable. So if I have a value here, if I have a chroma alpha here, which is under 0.6, it's considered unreliable. If I have a value from 0.6 to 0.7, it's considered questionable. Some authors accept it, some other authors don't accept it. From 0.7 to 0.8 is considered acceptable, from 0.8 to 0.9 is considered good, from 0.9 to 1 is considered uh, excellent. So in the value that I have here, the measurement saying that those four items to measure attitudes in relation to a brand is unreliable. So if, as you can see, the value here of Chroma Alpha is under 0.6. But now I want to drag your attention uh, to the second table and specifically to this final column. This final column here says Chroma Alpha is item deleted. So what it's telling me here is what the Chroma Alpha score will be if I remove one of those items. So for example, if I remove the first item, it's gonna go down to 0.32. If I remove the second item, it's gonna go down to 0.26. If I remove the third item, it's gonna go down to 0.29. But if I remove the fourth item, it's gonna go all the way up to 0.80. And it's gonna go from a scale that at the moment is considered unacceptable to having a reliability which is good. So let's try that. I'm going to go back to Analyze, down to Scale, Reliability Analysis. I'm going to remove this final item. I'm going to run the test again, and there you go. Now, my reliability score is of 0.80 when I have three items and I removed that last one. And this is really important because sometimes you have one item in the scale that is affecting your reliability. Now, something which is important is when you're running further tests with that scale, like for example, ANOVA, T-test, and so on, you would not use those four items. You would only use the three items that you have now, because with these three items, you have a, a reliable scale, all right? So that's how you run uh, uh, Chroma Alpha and SPSS. This is how you can refine your scale so that you can improve reliability, all right? And just one final thing, you can only, run a Chroma Alpha when you have at least three items. So if you have two items, this is not the test for it. If you have only one item, you cannot run a reliability test for it. But if you have three, four, five, six, seven, and more, um, you, that's how you would test the reliability of your scale, okay? So hopefully that was useful for you. All the absolute best in life and listen to Led Zeppelin because they're one of the best rock bands of all times. See you later, bye-bye.